Alright guys, welcome to your third tutorial and in this lesson what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going over a few main pieces of the user interface and also if we have time I'm going to be giving you guys a detailed explanation of a Qt program and it's going to give you guys a little more understanding of what all the pieces mean. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go over all of these little icons on the left hand side. Now what these things are are called modes and they're pretty much the different modes obviously that's why they're called them that you can go to whenever you're in the uh, Qt creator so the first thing is of course this Q icon that says welcome now this is the first thing that pops up whenever you open the program and it's pretty much just the home screen it gives all you know a couple examples um, the news like the latest news on the right hand side um, let's see you can open projects create projects it's pretty much a typical home sp a home screen nothing really uh, that important here we're not going to be spending a lot of time here now under that we have this little I don't know it kind of looks like a piece of paper the edit icon now the edit icon is pretty much a text editor and it's where we're going to be spending most of the time writing the C++ code now you can also if you go ahead and uh, click edit with another file selected and not a C++ file you can also edit um, XML files but what we're going to be concerned with is mostly the C++ so whenever we need to hard code and edit the crap this is where we're going to be spending most of our time in here now if you ever click on a UI file that means user interface and that's going to take you to this mode right here which is the design mode now obviously this is a uh, you know there's a lot of stuff in here all the widgets on the left hand side pretty much this is where you can see visually what your GUI is going to look like and it gives you a little more um, I don't know it's just that whenever you're coding everything and laying everything out it's sometimes hard to picture in your head so it's a lot easier just to you know drag the widgets on the screen but anyways the design is where you can visually see what's going on with your program and the rest of these are kinda of self-explanatory the debug mode is where you go whenever you wanna of course fix some bugs hopefully we won't be spending too much time in here the projects is all of your project settings and aside from that aside from like your main project settings like uh, I don't know what version of Q and I don't know stuff about your compiler you can also change your editor settings if you want to so in order to do that just go ahead to editor settings and go to custom and you can you know if you don't like the way your editor looks you can do that but I like mine at the default so I'm not gonna mess with that now under this you have analyze and whenever you want to kind of um, take a look at the memory how how things are being utilized it just helps optimize your program maybe make it run a little faster and more efficiently we can go over to here and last but not least we have the help section now Q actually has really awesome help section and basically you guys already know what help is it has all the documentation uh, I think it has some frequently asked questions somewhere yep right there um, you know all the glossary and all the technical stuff as well but anyways that's what all of the modes on the left hand side mean so hopefully you're a little more familiar with them now however I wanna uh, mention a couple more things about this edit mode now whenever you're in the edit mode like I said it's a text editor but aside from that we have this well right now it's pretty much your list of project files folders everything that's in your project now this is the default view this little projects right here but you can also switch it to I don't know file system if you just want to view all your files but I like uh, keeping projects open but another cool thing that you can do is if you're like oh I, I can't decide if I want to view it like this or you know maybe view the file system what you can do is you can actually click this icon called split and whenever you do that it gives you two of them pretty much splits the screen so you can have the top one as this little hierarchy of folders and files and the bottom one of all your individual files so you know that's just a neat little tip and well that's it and again this is probably uh, pretty self-explanatory but if you ever want to get rid of this then you can just go ahead and close one and then close the other but I am probably just gonna uh, keep this one open because it's easy for you guys to see when watching these tutorials the hierarchy of where all my files are in relationship to my folders so um, 
everything else actually about the user interface we're just actually going to cover that as we need them because if I go ahead and talk about all the different pieces of all the, di the different modes we aren't even there yet learning it so I think it's better to cover it as we get to it it'll make more sense that way so in the next tutorial we are finally you know gonna be done covering the user interface and we're gonna be start typing some code I thought I was gonna have time in this tutorial but I don't so that's what we're gonna be doing in the next tutorial thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe